Hello, my name is Alfredo and this is Off The Strip where I introduce you to places just minutes off the Las Vegas Strip or take you on one of my adventures. If this is your first time to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. More information is listed below. Today we're going to explore the city some more, head over to Circle Q um, by the Opera House again, see it during the day, uh, explore the rocks and um, see what else that we can find. So be sure you hit the like button and subscribe. Just just walking by the Australian National Maritime Museum. Uh, we're in Darling Harbor again, um, walking underneath this bridge. I thought it was Darling Harbor Bridge, but it's not Darling Harbor Bridge. It's a Pe Piedmont Bridge, I think it's called. Um, but yeah, so we're kind of walking this way to try and get to the ferry to get to Circular Queue over by the Opera House to walk over and explore um, the big cathedral that's over there and the rocks. Check this out and also look at this. There's a submarine right over here. That's kind of neat. This was Australia's first submarine in World War One. So we just got off the ferry from um, Darling Harbor to Circular Key, and look, they've got different flavored chips. So we're back at uh, Sydney Harbor area, the wharf area, walking to the rocks right now. Um, just got a map for directions from information. So we're uh, going to explore. Pretty excited. Still loving Sydney, only second day, but I realized I think it's because it's next to the water. That's why I like it, even though it's a city, but it's next to the water, that's why I like it. Check out the Louis Vuitton here in Sydney. Wow, kind of neat. So this Louis Vuitton is actually like an exhibit. It wasn't a store, but it's kind of neat, um, all the pieces that are in here. And for the bushy campers. So we just visited the Louis Vuitton exhibit and now we're climbing up and this is where the beginning of the rocks. Check it out, Sydney's oldest pub opened in 1828. So this is, I guess, where all the cruise ships board. There's a bunch of people down that hill lining up to board with their suitcases. But you can also see there's a lot of people walking behind me with their suitcases heading that way. And yeah, welcome to the rocks.
So we just finished um, kind of a brunch um, here at Gillian's. It's a pretty good place. Um, little buzz from the Bellini, to be honest. But yeah. Here's the taqueria. I wonder what Mexican food tastes like in Australia. Hmm. So we're still exploring um, the harbor area. You can see Royal Caribbean's got a big presence here at Sydney. And there's the big old bridge. So that all right here is uh, the rocks all back there. Um, yeah, I'm really enjoying Sydney. Our second day in Sydney, Australia. It's just a beautiful city. A couple more items on our bucket list. Here we go. Of course, the Sydney Opera House. Seriously, if you're on this cruise, I don't know if you're ever going to get on the boat. Look at this line. It's ridiculous. I mean, it is a floating mega resort, but still, it'll take you like 10 hours just to board. All right, so we walked up from Circle of Key all the way up to the Royal Botanic Garden. So the Royal Botanical Garden in the heart of Sydney is it's a really cool place. It's very big. Um, and a little bit ago, I just got attacked by a bee, chased me about, oh, I don't know, 20 yards. So I'm not really sure what type of birds these are, but they're kind of everywhere. Um, see, they're just chilling with the people, walking around the park. They're actually all over the pier too, so the wharf. We have walked so much today to the point that we've made it here to the State Library of Sydney or Australia I should say. It's fitting that the public library is on Shakespeare Place. Check out this fancy ass hospital. It's a Sydney hospital. So the Mint is Sydney's oldest surviving public building. This massive cathedral behind me is St. Mary's Cathedral, so we're about to explore that area. Ah, oh, but it was a walk getting here.
the shopping area is really busy. There's so many people. It's crazy. It reminds me of Market Street in San Francisco, and ironically, um, actually is Market Street. So we're in Australia trying on some Ugg boots. I'm going to try some on and see if we can find a, a good pair. Um, it's definitely less expensive here in Australia than it is in the U.S. One thing I did learn is not all Uggs are made in Australia. Some are made in China. So in this store, um, it has a little green triangle. Um, if they have a little triangle, it's made in Australia. So I tried on a couple of uh, shoes. Um, they did not feel comfortable to me. One thing I did learn, and look, 70% off. One thing I did learn is that UGG is a type of shoe, it's not really the brand. So UGG is an Australian type of shoe. But then if you look underneath, there's different manufacturers of UGG boots. So that's what they told us here, whether that's in the US or not, I don't know. But I've tried a couple on and um, I, it was not comfortable. So I'm gonna get a haircut here at this place, gonna check it out. Um, which we'll try. So I'm at this Australian uh, Sydney barber. I'm gonna check it out. It's kind of fun. It's right in the middle of the city. So, okay, I just got my haircut from this Australian barber shop. Um, what do you guys think? Pretty good. You know, um, yeah, pretty satisfied. So we're actually back in King Street uh, Wharf. We just had, we went back to Zona where we had uh, drinks last night. We just finished there an hour at, I don't even know what this place is called, the meat company for more happy hour drinks. So we're wrapping up our second evening here in Sydney. Energy is so great. Loving it. The weather is perfect. Um, yeah, lots of people still around here at King Street Wharf, um, right off of Darling Harbor. So we're in the Queen Victoria building, which happens to be a mall. Um, by chance, we kind of walked uh, into it, but of course it is 7 p.m. so most stores are already closed. The sun setting on our second day here in Sydney. It was a great day. Um, we did a lot. We walked almost, probably almost 10 miles today, but um, we'll see you tomorrow. So because we're opposite from the US, look, Merry Christmas in December and it's summer. <laughs> <laughs>